Okay, today we're going to try to discuss the five guns that everybody should own. We've actually got three long guns and a handgun. We decided that the, uh, the long range sniper weapon, a uh, $2,000 rifle, was out of everybody's range. So we're going to try to get something here with multiple uses rather than have something a specialty item. I think the first gun you need to get is your handgun. Get a Glock 19 9 millimeter, 15 shot magazine. Of course, you always have your 33 rounders. Have plenty of those with you. That's a good handgun to have. That's a good handgun to start with. Next down the line, in order of importance, I think, is to have your 1022 Ruger with your VX 25 magazines. Now, gone through this before, you can kill everything from a ground squirrel to a moose with this. Have plenty of VX 25 magazines. Next in line uh, in usefulness would probably be this Mossberg pump. This is a 12 gauge that sold as a kit. Now with this gun you get your 18 and a half inch home defense barrel. You get a pistol grip so you can change it back and forth if this is what you want. And you also get a 26 inch hunting barrel with a vent rib. It's ported and comes with three chokes. This gun will cover everything from small game to deer, bear, whatever you want to hunt with it. And when you get home from hunting, you can always put the pistol grip and the short barrel back on it. You've got a fine little home defender there. You can also get a lot of accessories for this gun if you want to trick it out with different stocks and all. But this comes from Mossberg this way. Now, last but not least, everybody needs some kind of combat weapon. Uh, this is a uh, Bushmaster XM15 E2S in the uh, 556 caliber M4 configuration. You should also have with your gun, as a backup, you can have the uh, 22 drop-in bolt conversion with the 22 magazine. Now you have to understand that the barrel of this gun is not really designed to shoot 22 LR, so you're not going to get tack driving accuracy. Now, you can, I fired these before, and you can hit a squirrel or a rabbit at 40 or 50 yards with it, but that's about as good as you're going to do. If you want to shoot more accurately, you have to get a dedicated 22 upper. But this right here can save your life. And I think these are the guns that everybody should own. Eric and I both feel the same way. If you have the money, you can later add some type of a bolt action, high powered gun, like a 7.62 bolt action with a nice scope for long range shooting. But that's the guns that we think everybody should own. Right, now everything uh, Barry laid out earlier is definitely right on the money. I agree with him completely about this arrangement. But I do want to throw out the uh, Mosin, the Russian M9130. This is one of those guns that if you and your buddies wanted to go in a couple of grand together, pool your money, you could buy a crate of these things and about five crates of ammo for around $2,000. Right. That's a real good cheap way to arm 10 men. You all get your technique down and train properly on this gun. You can be very deadly in large numbers. Very deadly. Um, this gun will pretty much kill anything on North America. Shoots a uh, 7.62 by 54. Okay, a good battle-proven cartridge that's been in service since 1891. You got good soft point loadings out there for it. You can kill uh, elk, bear, moose, anything, Correct. deer, uh, two-legged game of all sorts if you need to. And uh, they excel at that. They're good guns. And uh, if you want a high power bolt action and you don't want to spend a ton of money, this is definitely a good way to go. Like Eric said, if you want to, if you want to arm a dozen people, this is, with, economically, this is the way to go. Yeah, and it's not junk. I mean, no, they're not junk not guns junk. at all. No, this they're is, good this guns. Is a damn nice rifle. I mean, this is, you know, this is the rifle that, that won the war for the Russians. It certainly did. And a lot of people talk smack about Mosins because they're cheap, but they really are great guns. They are. So this would be a distant fifth. If you guys want to get in a high power rifle without spending a ton of money. Right. But we'd strongly recommend these five guns would be my go to guns and Barry's go to guns. So there you have it. If you can afford it, we were just discussing this before we closed for the day. If you had one of these that was suppressed, a lot of these magazines, that would be the ultimate survival weapon. You can, uh, you, can, uh, you can snipe with it or whatever you need to do. You can kill game and nobody can hear you. That's a very important thing. People say, well, I'm going to run to the mountains and kill squirrels and rabbits and live off of that. Well, a 22 can be heard for a mile and a half away if it's not suppressed. This gun suppressed would be the ideal survival weapon.